And so I'll wake up and then I'll eat. And that's all I eat is just breakfast. I don't, I won't eat really anything else throughout the day. I don't like to be full. I don't like to I go, for one, I'm going to push my body to the point of breaking, right? Like, so men mentally you gotta be ready to go there. But I don't wanna have a little steak or potato sitting there when I decide to make that final push. You, that you know, I have a little stitch in my side, so yeah, I'll eat after. But yeah, you just kinda hang out with your family and, so you continue that? So you play with Dax, for example, in the oh, pool yeah. and things like that? Yeah, man. Okay. And then everybody who's ever known you will call you, tell you their advice. <laughs> if you happen to get on Instagram, there'll be millions of people telling me what they think I should do. Yep. And uh, then my wife, she tells me what she thinks I should do. And usually it's go get some milk for f***ing Dacky's bottle. <laughs> So keep it normal. Keep it normal, yeah. She's so cool, man. We just, there's no pressure. She didn't even talk to me about the fight ever. And uh, we just hang out with the boy. I hang out with all my friends and we'll probably got a report at 5 30, 6 o'clock. We'll make our way over. That's when it really gets real, man. That's like all day you can kind of find stuff yeah, to yeah, distract, you. distract you. And then you kind of get showered, put your new suit on. You got something special lined up for us at the weekend? Sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any ruffles? Yeah, some nice, pretty, <laughs> pretty ruffles, man. <laughs> Throw my hat on and we make our way to the to the arena. Then you get over there and it's like a f***ing four hour wait. Mm. That's the tough part. You know, you gotta go piss for the commission then they have you wait. Put you in a room and you wait. And usually they put you there before the live card even starts, so whatever time that is and you sit there and you're laying down watching all the other people warm up and the nerves are starting to f***ing go crazy get you butterflies and then you're like man do I warm up now do I rev the engine or do I wait you gotta just make the decision like you don't know how many fights do we have how much longer do we have three hours all right I'll just stretch out they come in, they wrap your hands. Now it starts really getting real. Mm. Now you start hitting the pads a little bit, kicking a little bit, wrestling a little bit. Probably two fights to go. Now you're like, all right, let's start turning it up. But now all of a sudden, that just got knocked out. Now you're one fight away, right? Yeah. Now you're like, ah, oh, the guy who's fighting next, he's also a finisher. So now we're fucking five minutes away. And all that laying I just did, I should have got my ass and warmed the engine. So it's weird, like, game out there and getting ready and getting sorted out and standing there behind that curtain is like the most crazy feeling ever because your friends have so much to tell you but they don't want to tell you they don't know what to tell you you're gonna fuck him up go get him we done everything again yeah, i know we did all that thanks i got it right shut the fuck up let me pace like a fucking lion here because i don't know what else to do with this energy <laughs> right? then you fucking make the walk and you go fight and you're scared to death but i love it Try to slap a couple of hands, fake a smile, go out there and do your thing, you know what I mean?